Hi, Lolly. How are you? Fine, thank you, Dr. Duvall. Come on in. Okay. Please, have a seat. So, tell me, Lolly. What's going on? I can't stay on subject. It's like there's this switch in my brain. And one minute I'm thinking one thing, and the next minute I go blank, and I start thinking about something else. You know, that's very interesting, because on my 14th birthday, my uncle gave me the ugliest tie. Why do you think it rained last night? What? I had crepe Suzette for dinner last night. So yummy. Do you like tuna fish? N no, I don't think so. This winter coat is too heavy for California. I don't know why I'm wearing it. Did you ask me something? Oh, you wouldn't believe this guy who cut me off while I was driving the other day. He didn't turn on his blinker before changing lanes and he almost ran into me. And I was feeling so angry until I saw his license plate which said, play 106. So I bought a Daily 3 lottery ticket and I played those numbers and sure enough, I won $500. It must have been fate. If that guy had never cut me off, I'd be $500 poorer. <laughs> All right, let's get back to why your thoughts are wandering. When do you think this happens the most? I I don't, I don't think there's anything that triggers it. It just happens. I haven't gone ice skating in years. What do you feel about marshmallow fluff? Seriously, Doctor, are you making fun of me? Well, no, of course not. I would never do such a thing. That would be highly unprofessional. My sister's house has flying bugs in it. Are they little tiny ones that manage to get through the screens? I bought a carnivorous plant to uh, try to get rid of them. Uh, look, let's, let's just try to get back on track, shall we? How do I do that? Uh, well, uh... For starters, you could, uh, you could buy a journal like mine to keep your thoughts, your feelings, your goals, stuff like that. What were you saying about your thoughts? Well... Oh, well, guess what? Our time is up. <laughs> I really have to go buy some new pantyhose. <laughs> oh, okay. Have a good weekend. Okay. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> No, wait, no, it's not a cappuccino. I'll, uh, uh, oh. Oh, 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 do you do Italian ices? Yeah, actually, I'll, um, oh, why am I here? I'm supposed to be somewhere else. Okay. I'll take a pomegranate ice cream tea. That's sugar-free, right? I'm on a diet. Yeah, what size? <sighs> Small. Okay. Be all? Uh, I didn't order that. <laughs> well, uh, whatever. I guess I don't want it anymore. Um, can I have a caramel cafe latte with extra whipped cream and throw some fudge sauce on top too? Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Here's that banana smoothie. <laughs> I didn't order a banana smoothie. I ordered a mocha light without whipped cream. Really? I mean, what's so hard about that? I'm sorry, ma'am. Sworn you ordered a banana smoothie. No, I didn't. Just give me a coffee, Black. Here's your black coffee. Yeah. It would be three twenty-nine. Oh, careful! There's one right by your ear. I take a sparkling water. Okay. friends over for dinner and oh I love it if you and Ian could come so tell me what you think I was thinking about serving like a baked salmon with a nice chipotle and then we can finally do a book review for can't wait for Vegas on Saturday are you flying in or were you planning on meeting us at the <gasps> girlfriend are those Jimmy Choo's what is in that coffee you're drinking you're so not staying on subject just get back to the book what book the book the book you're reviewing for your dinner party? What dinner party? What's wrong with you? 
Did you experience some sort of brain trauma that I don't know about? Excuse me? Only as much brain trauma as you experienced when you thought that that shirt made you look thin. Wow, okay, well if you ever remember your dinner party, forget about inviting me. I'm not gonna remember your it. salmon's gross. Well. I just love everything in your store. Are you doing readings today? Would you like to schedule one? If I could. I happen to have a little time right now. Oh, really? I, I, I would love that. That would be wonderful. Follow okay. me. Let us begin. It's your own decision. Well, you know, I was, I was going somewhere, but then I wandered in here, and I, I forgot, and came in. I'm glad you did. But I must take you out of this state before I can offer any guidance. I'm in a state. I feel perfectly fine. Don't you feel that you have no real direction or focus? You are not controlling yourself. What do you mean I'm not controlling myself? That's scary. Let's do something to correct that. I happen to have an extra pair of these. What are these for? <gasps> to keep out the floating jellyfish. Apparently no one else can see them but me. I saw jellyfish once in an aquarium. They're beautiful, but... But aren't they dangerous? No, I don't think they're dangerous. In fact, some are somewhat beneficial. Others are <laughs> mischievous. But you see, these jellyfish do not live in the water. They float in the air. They seem to be drawn to some people more than others. And whenever I'm around someone who draws a great many of them, I have to wear the earmuffs to keep them out of my own head. When they are in blooms, they can float into anyone at random. They use their long tentacles to enter the head through the ears. And due to their gaseous quality, they do not physically puncture or damage, but they can change one's thoughts. That, that explains everything. I must be completely riddled with them. I've never seen anyone with a case of jellyfish as bad as yours. There's blooms of them everywhere. 
many of them are around me right now? The entire shop is flooded. I'll have to keep the door open for a while after you leave. You know, I was, I've been, I've been seeing a psychiatrist about, I, I thought I had serious, serious attention deficit disorder. I'm so sorry, but here is my card. I would love to help you more. Thank you, thank you. You know, I'm already feeling so much more focused. Uh, I'll call you. Namaste. Oh. So, Lolly, how are you today? I'm really a lot better today. Thank you. How are you? Oh, I, I'm fine, thank you. Uh, isn't it a little bit warm outside for earmuffs today? I'm so excited to tell you why I'm wearing these. I wandered into this psychic shop and met this amazing psychic named Davinia. She even knew my name. Hmm, and uh, the earmuffs are worn for... Oh, I'm just about to get to that part. Davinia can see invisible jellyfish floating in the air. They get inside people's heads through their ears, so she gave me these earmuffs for protection, and I have to say that they're working wonders. You do understand that Psychics use all kinds of tricks, just like magicians do, to make you think that they know something that you don't. You don't understand, Dr. Duvall. With these earmuffs, I'm in hyperfocus. Well, I really think we should get to the root of this, because I really want to ride a dolphin. You're jellyfished! I cannot continue this therapy session until you put something over your ears. Oh, oh, come, come now. <laughs> Seriously, I mean it, please! <sighs> All right. <laughs> now then, are you more comfortable? Yes, I most certainly am. Very good. So, we were talking about your childhood. Do you remember being easily distracted at home or struggling at school? It's so strange. I don't remember anything before the age of nine. You don't remember any of your teacher's names from first or second grade or, or, or friends, birthday parties? The first teacher I remember was Miss Noble, my third grade teacher. Nothing before then. Yes, that's true. My, my parents told me that I was struck by lightning the summer I was eight, and I don't remember anything before that. Lightning. I think we may have stumbled onto something here. For some reason, you are blocking experiences that you had before the age of nine, and perhaps that the lightning trauma may have had something to do with it. I don't know. I really don't remember. I just know that I was struck by lightning, and I lived... It was a miracle. Would you like to explore this blockage further by using hypnosis? Okay, I guess if, if you think it will help. Oh, very good then. All right. Very comfortable. Relax. Sit back in the seat. And I want you to focus on this crystal. Back and forth. Back and forth. And I want you to take a very deep breath and hold it for a count of three. Ready? And one, two, three. And exhale. One, two, three. Very good. Now then, you're eight years old and you're in a safe and happy place. Where are you? I'm, I'm in, I'm at camp, in bed. I'm looking out the window and watching a, watching clouds of fireflies float into the woods. Now, I would like you to follow those fireflies to the time that you were struck by lightning. What's happening? Counselors are rushing us from the lake back to our cabins because of a flash thunderstorm. What are you seeing? No 
there's a flash. And there's white all around me. And I'm spinning. I'm starting to feel this sucking sensation all over my body like I'm being vacuumed out. What's making you feel that way? I don't know. I'm looking at my sleeping self on the ground. There are counselors looking over my sleeping body, but I'm not there. I'm, I'm higher than the trees. What else do you see? There's a tear in the sky. And there are beautiful iridescent bubbles flowing out of it. They separate into groups and th this is fun for them at first, but as they separate more and more, I'm feeling how sad and lost they are. So I'm trying to push them back through the tear, but there are too many of them. And I'm starting to feel that sucking, tugging sensation again. All right. Now it's time to stop. I'm going to clap three times, and you will be back in my office, and you will remember everything. It's amazing. I, I think I know where the jellyfish come from and why they're following me. Well, you, you are aware that hypnosis can bring about false memories. Your psychic may have somehow made a suggestion that has reached your subconscious. Oh, no, 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 no. My parents told me that I was struck by lightning and I was clinically dead. Well, being struck by lightning can be a very traumatic experience. It could very well bring about loss of memory. You know, we have about 20 minutes left to the session. Would you like to explore this further? No, thank you, Dr. Duvall. This has been an incredible breakthrough. Okay. I, I feel so enlightened. Thank you so much. Uh, everything makes sense now. I'll, I'll see you next week. really important about the jellyfish. Yeah, could you please meet me at Santa Monica Beach in about an hour? Yeah, okay, okay, great. Thank you so much. Okay, bye, see you soon. What did you discover exactly? In therapy, I saw the jellyfish under hypnosis. They were beautiful. Uh, hypnotism can be useful. What was revealed to you? When I was a child, I was struck by lightning and I had this incredible near-death experience, and that's when I first saw the jellyfish. Do you remember feeling anything in connection to the jellyfish? I don't get what it means, but I think I know why they're following me. I think they need my help. What you saw must have been a dimensional rift caused by the lightning. Oh, I knew they weren't from our world, otherwise everyone would see them. How can we help the jellyfish? Jellyfish! Why in the hell would you want to help jellyfish? Jellyfish are mindless, slothful little pricks. Look what one of those little translucent bastards did to my leg. I'm so sorry, but these jellyfish do not live in the water. They're invisible and float in the air, and they can enter your head through your ears. Have you two slipped on the fun sticks? Or are you just a couple of crackpots? Excuse me, I don't remember inviting you into this conversation. Your muddy aura is making us very uncomfortable. Muddy aura? Well, allow me to clean myself off. Jerk! We have a lot of work to do. What do we need to do? I believe your mind has the map that the jellyfish need to find your way home. We must remove the earmuffs and let them enter. I will try to connect with them and lead them to you. Um... Um... While I was walking down the beach one bright and sunny day, I saw a great big wooden box floating in the bay. I pulled it in and opened it up, and much to my surprise, Oh, I discovered a... <laughs> right before my eyes! Oh, I discovered a... Right before my eyes! Ooh, fly me to the moon, and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. That's a beautiful song. <laughs> Come on, baby, let the good times roll. 
Come on, baby, let me feel your soul. Come on, baby, let the good times roll. I can see them. What a vision. 